So that recent experience might really be of some assistance to them as we get into this round 18 game from Kazali Stadium in Cairns. And it's Darcy that wins the tap down. Liberatore couldn't get it forward. Instead, it's Brayshaw with the service. Just a wrong piercing ball, almost a full forward. Wasn't far off. Jesse Hogan, fresh from four goals last week. There is some irony, irony about it, isn't it, with Melbourne fans hoping that Jesse can kick a big bag and get the Demons into the finals. And he had 11 clearances last week and was mighty, particularly in the first half when the dogs did the business. And speaking of doing the business, if this guy can start taking a few marks, it... so 12 goals, 7 in 15 games, had a big outing of 6 against North Melbourne. He, he's found the going tough, that's for sure, but he has proven in his years at St Kilda that he, he can be a genuine target and can kick. So he always will pull the trigger. Well, Darcy's going to get there and... Took a few down. Sarong was along for the ride. He had caught, he claimed, and that surely is holding the ball. In the back. I'm from the back half to the front half. Schultz committed to going. Lob was the target. English over the top. Not sure what Jesse Hogan was trying to claim. It's a greasy ball, as we've seen already, but Fife got it under his command eventually for Conker. And now Brayshaw fully loaded the Dockers here. It's a spearing ball for Hogan. Hits it hard against Keith that time. Gardner eventually... And it was touched. It was good pressure from Hogan. Schultz. It's a nervous start for the dogs. Pretty high. He's uh, intercepted a couple now. English v Darcy. Oh, Darcy got it on his own terms. And what a fantastic kick from Mr. Darcy. Darcy was going to be able to knock it through himself. There he is. It looks like it's uh, Brayshaw put the hand up. He wanted to get involved in the action, but uh, a great take and snap around. Well, it's going to be a big battle, he and English. English's yep. form over the last couple of weeks has been superb, so if he can move him off the footy in a contest like that, that's a big win. Kicked a goal last week, and that's an even better one from Sean Darcy. Well, he's shown just a... As Lobb is the tall target and Hogan, so if he gets forward, that's a good result. English now, Bonson Pally can go to work out of the middle. And a devastating looking long kick. Wallace got Conker where he wanted and kicked a crafty goal oh, in game 150. Whatsoever. I mean, this is just uh, 101. Chera looked as if he should have been mining him. And then, really, he got on the wrong side. And it was a nice little snap around the corner. Great work there by Mitch Wallace. Exposed Reese Conker. Yeah. And that's why Mitch Wallace can start deep and why he's in the All Australian conversation. We talk about Darcy getting one up on English. Well, you can give English four of these six points yep. because the ruck work was just superb. And as you rightly pointed out, Jared, to leave the left side of that centre circle open when you've got someone at Bonte. Yes, and they remain unflustered. And you've got to make them hurry. You've got to put them under the pump. Well done, the dogs. Hunter. It's a strange old kick from Hunter. I reckon in the Frio box, that'd be just... A just repeating in terms of the conditions now, the game's underway. What's your assessment of the advantage that the, the dogs have got? I, I would think it's, it'd be a two-goal advantage left of screen that they've got at the moment and just predicted the drop-off as the game goes on. Well, you wouldn't necessarily know it. Fremantle is certainly right in this. Five edges, the kick. It got beyond well, Henry initially. Can he show his talents? High draft pick. He can show them with his agility and the finish wasn't... <laughs> Is it? But no, it's not paid to five. He's grasped it. You kick. Wood. Inverted oh, kick out of there. Well, he had about four options, don't you, yeah. in this situation? And uh, that's what this young man would aspire to be. He's just got to finish it. They're getting, as I said, they're getting good looks going inside. They're getting another and find someone on the way out, but they just don't get exposed. Jack yeah. McRae only two disposals so far for the dogs. If he has a big game, he could end up with the most touches of anyone in the AFL for the season. Lot decided not to take the kick. Akers just popped it up. It was good connection with Hogan. Croton was underneath it. Hogan to the outside. Akers a second opportunity. This time he goes to the goal square. Frederick's waiting at the back, but it never arrived. Instead, it was Johannesson's ball. This young man, what a stay he's been. Bailey Smith. Boy. Smith. Now Williams come off the instep. Still gets to Wallace. Look up short. Had a man at the top of the 50, and he was able to identify Lockie Hunter. Well, Lockie Hunter's the one who... He had ace at the... ...to the ball. 
He's leading their score involvements on average this year, like he had it when he's played. He's oh, missed that up. left, so he'll be disappointed with that. He's just kicked the two goals. Brayshaw. Collect was good, but heavy traffic around. McRae. Play on, play on. Hill knew the imperative to move it on straight away. Did it with good effect, but it, it gets difficult. And in the end, Conquer employed the fist. The danger has certainly not passed. Liberatore. Johannesson got forward last week and kicked two, and he's curled one through here. Fine strike. Tell everyone about it. Two goals of the game were Crozier and Johannesson. So they eventually squeeze and they keep pushing and they keep pushing. And then they're just sitting off the back. And you've got to be aware of that. The Fremantle players have just got to be aware of it. They're dangerous. They'll take the shot when it presents itself. And it's had to come in a bit of an unconventional way because they haven't quite linked up. Yeah, good pressure by the... Western Bulldogs just forcing the error. They've had a lot of errors uh, trying to kick that ball outside forward 50. I'm not surprised Justin Long. Find a remedy, which he did to the outside. The experienced Mundy plays it into the pocket. Tough one for Henry against the size and the, oh, the size from both which way from Cordy, but uh, they win it back. Schultz to Darcy off the left. Surely couldn't kick another one like that. But that, that, that time they did go to line, they've gone forward. They just have been slowed up a bit. Oh, no. Oh, untidy, and that allows Henry in. Schiltz should nail this one from 40 with a vacant goal square, which he uses to his advantage. Again, by Fremantle, an airy control here. That has to go to the other end of the ground, and it is just a shocking kick of 20 metres. And a good turnover by uh, a turnover goal by the Dockers uh, with Schultz on the end of it again. Well, of course, there's the two teams doing battle. Demons are watching on on the sunny coast at Twin Waters, and they will be barracking hard for Fremantle. In quarter there, Darcy pitted up against English. Chera pounces on it. Sarong sends it wide to Collier. Wood had him covered in the air. Hunter. Possession 10 coming up. He's the first player to double figures. That there is the beneficiary. Eyes off Nat Fife. Why wouldn't you? 55 to 60 from goal. No marks inside forward 50. Contemplation over now. It's going to be hard. He's got the breeze. This is going all the way. Throw it up there. Well, it's no substitute for class. That's the bottom line. There's the free kick. It's against Bontempelli on Sarong, which is just out of character for the Bont. A little bit of push and shove going on. But this is this is uh, significant, the way that this ball carried. Let's take some of the science out of it then. You know, plant, lob, deep, get it in there. That's travelled 60 metres. A good decision by Jesse Hogan not to stick his mitts up. Yep. We've seen that happen a fair bit over the journey. But... That's 60 metres, uh, that kick for Nathan Fife with that breeze. So I wonder whether that'll change the, through the middle and open things up. But right now, the ball movement game that we've... That is what we've come to expect from the dogs. Lipinski through Liberatore and then Lockie Hunter, then McRae, then Bontempelli. So many of their instrumental players getting involved in the chain. Now, this is why he's a great player, Hunter. He has run 100 metres to get there. He got one earlier on the other side of the ground. And he has just gut busted and got to the forward flank to have a shot at goal. Or maybe just a chip to the top of the square. 19 disposals last week was the first time he's been under 20. Kicks to the height and the hands for the season. The job is not done yet. But it is now. <laughs> just. Dogs back in front. To the top of the square. Look at this kick, Jared, though. He's the, uh, the Daniel. And that is a great kick. Look for Lockie Hunter. He comes charging and is just continuing to chase. There he is. Look at him get going. Go on, get down there. And he is the one because he's busted his gut that sets up the opportunity. It's a, it's a really fascinating game. I mean, Darcy would be disappointed that he didn't get body on English in the marking contest. Tim English is very good in the air and has been you know, known to get forward and kick goals. But the fascination is the ball move. 
nightmare of that kick. And Bailey Williams, even though it's into the wind, he can take some serious ground with a kick. Norton, well, it looked like he was too casual. He ends up kicking the goal. But uh, haven't seen Brennan Cox made a blunder like that uh, too often. There's Daniel. He's got it. Wilson just gives it inexplicably straight back. And when your game is built around good short kicks, you are going to struggle. Now, Cox usually takes the back spot. I think he was a bit uncomfortable in the front, and he got exposed. Well, this is a goal for turnover, which is what well, the team set up for. And in the end, this is inexplicable. So I think Cox was surprised that he didn't get moved off the footy further. He pushed down the ball from Norton. So. Togs lead expands to seven. Brayshaw threading the handball through to Mundy. Just patted it down and then hit the chest of his teammate Schultz within striking range. 11 goals, seven coming in tonight. He's going to carry on the bruise, but still fell short. Yeah, good defence on the... Uh... You, you. Fife already with one in the corner. Chance to get another. Well, this... well, as we all know, accurate goal kicking hasn't always been the strongest point of Nat Fife's game, but what a night for that to change. He's kicked middle of the ground at the moment with uh, Chera and yep. Sarong and Hill and Brayshaw. So... so what you're saying is they can afford to play him close to goal. 100%. In the absence of you know, Tabiner and Walters, they needed the X factor, yep. and this is the man here. And, and when you put him there, kick the damn thing to him. I mean, just keep going to him, because one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think there's too many... In fact, if there's a better one in the competition, it might be Dustin Martin. But one-on-one, -on -one, not, he's not beaten too often. We saw it a little earlier with Patrick Dangerfield. Swung a game around yep. when he went forward. Do you like that technique, Jared? Look pretty good to... So they've done a job on him. Me. Little pop kick, and Bruce was the man that called for it. And it works its way back perfectly. Right. And he is well and truly pumped and passionate. One thing that's frustrating for me is English is getting his hand on the ball so many times, and yet he's hitting it basically to anybody. He's not hitting it directly to a Bulldog opponent. There's the free kick you can see. They get away with one, whips it out to Bruce, they get the job done. They, they get this to the... Once they get... Wide for Richards, did the job to round it up. Now Bailey Smith. Moved his way through. Lipinski, Johannesson got it from Dunkley. Nice touch. That is... And that one is blotting the copybook. Looking to make it a triple, but instead Dunkley's going to kick it up to the 50. Norton was a target for the Freo defenders. Cox with the initial fist. Oh! And Lipinski's got forward. He's had a good quarter, Lipinski. And it's just got better. What a tackle from behind. That's good dog's work. Yep. So now the challenge is for the Dockers. And this is what why they're so dangerous, the, the Western Bulldogs. That when they do get the footy... Through Hill. He's on the back foot, though, Coley. Claimed by pressure. Dunkley. He's their leading tackler, and he showed why. Yeah, yeah. This man not bad either. L'Imperatore puts it on the chest of English. In 19 minutes of footy. They've now kicked five goals. Got the ball to the outside, into space. Their uncontested marking's gone through the roof, so they've taken 13 uncontested marks to two for the quarter. They're plus 24 in uncontested possession. And, all, and as you say, Freeman will lose control of the game. They've, they've lost, lost control where the ball starts. Going the other way. Can be so precise. Hill to Wilson. We know he's a long kick and on the breeze. It's going to give Lobb a chance at the back, which he takes. But was his best in terms of goals. 10 5 coming in tonight. And there's that stutter. It's extraordinary, isn't it? This time, Hill tosses it up. Easton Wood from the side. Hogan improvised. Lobb hesitant and smothered again. Hogan knows they're coming for him. Daniel Hill. They're the only two that go to ground. The umpire lets them play on for a little while. Some others we've seen in this term is testimony to that. Well, the pressure evaporated that time around. Darcy, Hill takes the kick off the right boot. His teammates didn't look too happy with that. Sarong gets a second crack at it. 
Can they get the late one they need? Croden. So Croden. A huge kick for Fremantle and maybe the fortunes of the Demons as well. Watching on. And he lands an important blow late. And clear. Crowden has done a really good job to date so far. He rides that one home. Siren about to sound.